Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you uh, about my uh, favourite app. It's an app that I use all the time. It started out live um, <clears throat> with the idea that I wanted to you know, record events, maybe just silly things like reminders for insurance and, and so on, but also just things that have happened, you know, places you've been and so on. Um, and it moved on from there to, to using images to uh, you know, obviously take photos of the place that you've been uh, and then further on to that to have um, galleries of images associated with those events and it should become a bit more apparent later on. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the app um, from a, I guess from a user point of view. Um, it's been prepared as a phone app because that's how I normally um, uh, consume the app uh, and so it'll only um, take up a certain amount of the screen. <clears throat> the um, the dates here are dynamic in that um, they always look back 15 days and look ahead 30 days. Um, partly because um, there's so many, um, it helps with the load time of the, the app um, if I restrict it in this way. So what it's doing is it's going off to a SharePoint list to pull in all of the uh, all of the list items that um, reflect those dates and um, it's not to be fair the fastest of, of apps um, and it may be that I'm a little bit further away from the internet so normally it would normally it would have all sort of flashed up by this stage um, the the search item here is is kind of okay but it's not you know it's not the most uh, amazingly uh, useful of things um, yeah here we've got um, some items that look ahead um so in fact I didn't want to go in there. Um yeah, it, I accidentally clicked on this area here. And so yeah, we've got some items that look ahead and there's also items that uh, are you know from today. Um so this is this is from a review perspective. This is just me taking a photo of the dog. Um and what you can see here is here is the dog, but also here are some sort of supporting um, photographs so um, and if I want to add more photographs in I can hit the edit button and wait for this to 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 appear uh, you know take a photo and I should yeah that's on its way uh, and so what we should see is that it's going to appear um, on the left hand side here now I don't necessarily want that, so I can hit the delete button. Um, and once it's done that, it's it's going to go off to my. Um, I've got a, uh, a SharePoint uh, list uh, under my um, events site, and what it will do is it will delete from that list. So there's quite a few um, online lists here. But I only use uh, in anger. This is the main list item here, and then I've got um, my events photos here, which is actually quite a simple list in reality. Um, so these are the supporting photos, and uh, I don't know how long this will take to to pop up. I'll I'll let I'll let that sort of um, load up. And um, so here we are. Yeah, it's taken <laughs> it's taken actually taking a very long time to. Um, to delete this photo, strangely enough, um, and I think that's just because I'm a little bit further from the from the internet. But it is a bit surprising. Um, Performance-wise, it's actually quite a you know it's it's pretty good uh, in the grand scheme of things. I have had some issues this morning um, just with the browser failing, but um, that's that is literally a browser issue. Um, so I can then sort of come off this. Um, and go back to you know my main review page. Uh, it's it's just very simple to use. So if I want to add a new item in, um, I've got some some drop downs and and so on. It's not perfect, but um, uh, you know. So if I can put home, I can put whether or not it's you know to do with football, whatever it might be. It might be a diary item or a reminder item. Just helps with sorting later on. Um, you put the uh, the, the relevant date, um, item summary, test, uh, test, um, 
and I can put an image if I want to and um, so literally select that image there and hit the um, submit item and then this is um, this is a valid new entry um, I might actually change the date on this uh, so I'm going to push it ahead to let's say the 9th of January um, and I'm going to go OK to that OK to that and what we should see is we're expecting that item there to appear here so uh, I mean uh, it'll it'll get on with that in, in a moment and um, so I'm not sh I think from a from a design point of view um, there are there are some you know it's it's taken a you know a good bit of time to put together but mainly it's been because of um, you know the extra technical pieces to do with adding line items associated with a header item and so that's been that's been tricky to put together but in reality once you've done it once you know you can you can apply that you know um, in many areas um, believe it or not one of them one of the most sort of frustrating pieces was actually um, was presenting the the dates in a in a way that was that was um, a, essentially it's a European date format um, so if you don't do that then you end up with with something that from a European point of view is actually quite confusing so all I've done is I've put in a label over the top here and I have um, it's the um, it's the selected date um, uh, from from the the item which is called start date but is actually translated into um, into the correct format and that was that was actually quite frustrating for something which is so where dates are so important and similarly this this item uh, or this uh, this date time here is uh, is another translation, but this one here is is uh, a bit nicer because it's also got the uh, day of the week, which is kind of handy. Um, so um, yeah, I, I think from from a from a design point of view, that's about as far as I can. Uh, I'm going to leave it. Um, what I'm going to um, what I'm going to do is just point out that um, if this list was to go to 500 items then um, you'd start to run into some problems because um, the the filtering um, uh, the filtering just doesn't um, won't work properly when you go beyond 500 uh, items and it's uh, it's something called um, delegation and um, it will work on um, SharePoint lists will work will do filtering correctly if you use equals but if you if you do um, if it doesn't it doesn't do greater than or equals to greater than um, less than uh, there's a whole range of um, uh, items that it, it really struggles with so um, that isn't the case with a um, a SQL database and and so if you if you're into um, into things that um, are going beyond 500 items my feeling is that the uh, the route to go is probably um, as an Azure SQL database. Um, so that's, uh, but it, it is something that you know if you if you start to sort of move things into production, then you know you would um, you would run into difficulties. Um, and the time that you know that you're going to have a potential difficulty is when you see this blue dot here. Um, and I'm just going to put um, just do a little search on Power Apps. Uh, delegation yeah so this is uh, understanding delegation I'm going to jump onto here delegation um, rather than um, going to this uh, this is the if you look at delegable data sources the, the thing I find most useful is, is when you when you look in in this area here which which sort of indicates that SharePoint will use filter wonderful but what you actually find is that when you do use filter for SharePoint, you um, you can only do equals, whereas SQL Serve will do uh, an awful lot more. So, and that's why I'm sort of pointing you in that direction. 
So um, I hope you found this useful and um, it gets you thinking about ways in which you might use um, Power Apps to create a data source. Um, and um, if you have any comments, pop them in down below. Thanks very much. Bye.